He's done. Right, okay, so I've got a hag on, rear shock. It is. Hag and rear shock. What's going on with this chappy? Via this chappy. Should be pretty straightforward, I think. Looks like we've got one bolt in there. And we have one bolt down here somewhere. And that should be enough to hopefully get the whole thing off. <sighs> so yeah, let's get that done. Hopefully, it'll be a doddle. Let me see if I can do enough for you guys to see what's going on. If you ever decide you want to change it. So you should be able to see that there. Just there. Looks easy enough. Let us get a bolt in there and get this little bit different sizes. What size are we? That's it actually. 17 that I've just dropped inside. Could have done that for tried. Actually, I probably could have. Get out. 17mm. I use this deeper one here to get me in there. Will I get in with this? Should be alright, I think. Easy, that was a toddle. My trusty mallet. And just knock this bolt out, I think. Should be all I need to do. Okay, so we get it that far. Just gonna pop that on the end so that I can actually get it all the way through. Looks like it's done it. Okay. That's the top end of it off. You probably see it's wiggling about in there. Easy peasy. Let's see how easy it is to get the bottom one off. Basically, we need to get this bolt off. Right there. That looks hard. I think I'm going to struggle. Trying to do it. Hold on, actually. I'm able to get. Oh, that's it. Get something on it. It's not enough. Oh, this is a pain. So I'm going to try basically just the 17 mil socket straight on to the end of it and hope that I can get to it I think the 17 miles are right ok so I've managed to get the 17 mil onto there and now I need to get this onto the 17 mil 
which I think will be what you do. But that's not the issue, is it? The issue is getting it to turn when it's on. These have got one of these stupid annoying wee buttons that you have to press to get it to lock in place. So now we have it in, what's the chances of getting it off? Rounding off. Can you see? Here we go. It's turning. I've got a turn on it. Should I get a turn on that? I'm almost positive I got a turn on that. So we need to keep at it and pray that we can get this to go. Yes, you have it. I have no idea how good that makes me feel. Okay. Now, let's get the boat out. So I've released the top bolt, I've released the bottom bolt, the shock as you can see is freely just moving about in there, so now we need to get the shock out. Now the manual states you have to take the battery out and the battery tray out to get to it, I thought nah, but see now the more I look at it, yeah. So that's going to be the next thing we do, is get the battery out and the tray out. Oh, I carry on. You know, let's look at the state of that. That's out. What a bloody mess that thing is. So there we go. One shock out. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Okay, let's go do a wee bit of cleaning up and then we'll get the, the shot back in. So, I'm going to shoot for 10 minutes, get a wee clean up. As you can see, look at this. Get a mess in here, like. Look. Look at that. There's a pigsty in there. I really need to take this, um, I really need to take this swing arm off to get right in about it, but. So I'm going to clean it up as best I can right now. Okay, I'll catch, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, give it a wee clean. Ah, it's looking 
Oh, perfect, but it's a lot, lot better. It's probably as clean as I'm going to get it without stripping it all down. So, into the void. Let's get the shot back on. Easy. Bottom one should be a bottle. Bottom one is already here. That's how you fit a hag in shock. Oh, fucking nightmare. Um, okay, I'm just going to tidy up get all my crap back on again. I'm going to talk you through all that. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, see you next time.